here I have laid out all my um, plans onto some six millimeter Depron foam. Um, with this airplane, I had to cut up so like the wing. I just cut a zigzag pattern, and then so I have wing here, and then I had to cut off the wing there, and I had to cut the fuselage in half just to get it to fit on the foam better, because this is the smaller size of foam that Grayson Hobby sells, <clears throat> and I usually use the bigger size, but this is all I had right now. Um, so I've laid out all my pieces. Now you have to tape them down to glue them. I usually use scotch blue painter's tape this stuff but this is like two inches I usually use like the three quarter inch skinnier rolls but this will work just fine when you're taping this down don't tape it on curved edges because you um I'll show you why later just tape it down like right here this is a straight edge you can put tape here um and don't overdo it with the tape because it's kind of not really necessary so just put pieces of tape down like this Mainly, I would probably put a piece of tape here, uh, here, there, and then there, then maybe put a few or one or two on the tail. Now that we have our plans taped down, we're going to have to trace around them. Well, to trace around them, you have, I usually use a pen. I think it gives the best line, the Pilot G2 pen. Um, you can't really use a pencil because the pencil just kind of like scrapes into the foam. It doesn't really draw a line. And Sharpies, the um, line is just kind of too fast. So, and we're, we're going to cut these out. Um, or draw trace around them. When I cut them out, yet I always use a straight edge because it gives you a much better line because you can't really um, cut these out freehand. So what I'm gonna do is take my pen. So it ends right here. So I'm just gonna make a dash here. Just make dashes along the line. Because you can use a straight edge and just line them up and then cut them out like that. So you don't have to draw a whole line, a straight line there. But on curved areas like this, you do have to draw a straight line because you can't really use a straight edge on a curved line. So I'm going to, there we go. So there's the edge and dotted line there. So you just got to go around all your pieces, drawing um, drawing through the curved areas and then just putting a few dashes on the straight areas um, but for short pieces like this there's no point in putting dashes I just color pieces like that in short areas I just you go around the rest of your plants like this Pretty self-explanatory. Um, so, here you go. This is the next step, um, I think it's the last boring step because the fun part is when you glue it together. Um, so you gotta, you're going to have to cut out your parts. Uh, you use a um, brand new X-Acto knife, the number 11 blade. Um, I s always use a brand new one when you're starting to cut foam, it just works so much better. Um, so all you're going to do is go around your traced areas just cutting it out but anywhere that like you have your dotted line um, or a straight edge you're gonna have to or you should use a straight edge for that that's what the ruler is for 
So I'm going to start here, line up my straight edge, and I want to cut on the inside of the line. I go through it once, just cut about halfway deep, and the second time cut all the way through, so you score it once, then cut all the way through. Just go around and cut out all your pieces. Um, try to be neat with this, um, because it is an airplane and you neater is better, better, neater airplanes fly better. So, just take your time, um, just, as long as you take your time, just cut it out neatly. You shouldn't have any problem. So, you can go to the time lapse now. Cause or here, so you're gonna cut through it halfway, cut through it all the way, and then for curved areas, I'm just gonna go really slow and just barely skimming the surface with the knife, and then I'm gonna start, and then I'm gonna take three tries to go through that because um, it's a little harder to get accurate. I'm gonna go through slowly, just cutting down about eight. The sixteenth of an inch. Trying to stay right on the line. And go down a little deeper. I'm going to cut all the way through. So there we go. So now, and then all you're going to do is just go around the rest of your plans using your straight edge on straight lines and just cutting out the curved edges freehand. Um, again, this is kind of the last boring section. Otherwise, gluing it together is that fun part.